Hi guys, my name is Stephanie and I'm a waxaholic. Okay, anyways, in my head it was funnier. I am doing a house tour of my, all my wax warmers. So we're going to start, by the way, hi, if you're new here, hi, welcome back if you're not new here. Um, I am going to be showing you one, like I said, my wax warmers. So we're actually starting out in my bedroom. We're going to start on the top floor and end on the main floor. So we are in my bedroom. Um, I'm going to flip this camera around and we're going to do a tour of all the warmers I have. So what I like to try and do is I like to do like tea lights element warmers, light warmers, um, and then different, um, strengths. So like 20 watt bulb, 25 watt bulb, that type of thing, because I want to get the most bang for my buck and some wax melts better than others. Some start off really strong in a stronger warmer and fade quickly. Others in a lower watt, um, take time to warm up and then just prolong a little bit longer. So I kind of, I, I'm getting really, really lucky with how I'm doing things. Um, so let me just reverse it for you guys. Um, we'll start in the bathroom and then work our way into the bedroom. So let me reverse this and actually let's, let me walk over here and we will reverse it and go from there. So over here we have the, this is the prairie warmer. So this is the one I said that um, I had downstairs and um, a mug actually fell and broke this. So this is now just upstairs. This is the prairie pitcher warmer. That's about it. Um, I do have a, where did I put it? Oh. Have my candle here but that's not a wax warmer i have over on my side of the bed this stays on all the time um i don't remember the name of this one this is just a hot plate element warmer um and real quick for those of you who are interested when i say i have a perfume collection i mean i have a perfume collection um you guys this is this is just all my perfumes right here. Um, maybe some of these days uh, I will do like an in-depth of my collection. Um, and then these are just empty boxes, but some of my favorite boxes. So anyways, neither here nor there. I have a tea light warmer here. This I got on Amazon. This is cute with the, with the little thingy. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? I was going to be downstairs in a little bit. Um, this is the, I think this is the Valentine's Day warmer. Um, this does not stay. This is on during the daytime, but at nighttime it's just too bright. Um, but I think this was Valentine's Day. Over there. Then over here, we have the, um, the Peter Pan one. My husband... <laughs> Um, has really fond memories when he was little of Peter Pan. And so when this came back out, I was on it right away. Um, so that's, that's his there. So we're going to walk out over here and into our hallway. We call this our Harry Potter shelf. Um, so we've got the, um, the Hogwarts warmer which is, that one's a lot of fun. And then in our movie room, I've got this, the the new Beauty and the Be Beast, thanks to um, Dazzling Sense with Chris. She talked me into it, told me I had to have it. But I already am, a, you know, as you could tell. So this my husband got for our 25th anniversary. He got this for me. Super cute, you guys, look. Lights up. Yeah, so he's a good guy. 
Um, and just a quick, like this is our movie room. This is kind of like a hodgepodge. Um, we've got the red drapes, just a hodgepodge of our favorite knickknacks and movie stuff. So there's that. Another Harry Potter shelf. This is our concession stand. And you guys, people say, how do you stay away from this candy? Honestly, um, like there, we seriously have to take time every now and then to go through. We don't eat it a whole lot. That sometimes they, it ends up stale. But thank goodness we get them at a good price. Um, and then let's go downstairs. So these are all movie posters. This just lets you know you're going into um, you're going into our movie room. So down the stairs, um, my husband's and I our whiskey wax collection. I've got this guy here. I wanted a kind of a rustic look. And so this is, I don't remember the, um, I, Woodland Creatures, I think maybe is the name of this one. Um, I got it last year for Christmas, but I just kept it up and put it in his whiskey collection area. And then over here, I have, um, this one's the Marrakesh. This one is in clearance. Beautiful warmer. I love how it's kind of, excuse me, I love how it's kind of muted um, and not overly crazy um, bright. Um, I just like a soft, a soft light. Um, that's my starter. I make sourdough, so that's my starter. Um, okay, and then we are going to go here to my coffee bar. This is the prairie with a handle that actually works. That, um, and I, like I said, I like the fact that it's just not super bright. Um, I have purchased some that um, just are, are way, way too bright and I don't like it. Um, okay, and this from my recent haul, this is a Yankee tea light warmer. Um, love this one, you guys. This these tea light warmers are just fantastic. So have that on top of my cooking bookshelf. On top of another bookshelf, I have the Disney one. So calling call this my Disney shelf. Me and the family at Disney during Christmas. Minnie and Mickey. Um, but my favorite, those two, kind of remind me of me and Mike. Mike can get a little tense and cranky sometimes, and I'm just a, a sassy, sassy arse. So there's that one. I really love that one. Super, super cute. Okay. I'm going to try not make you guys so dizzy. Um, this is a soapstone. It's an owl. When it gets hot, you guys, it gets hot. Um, I was a little worried um, how this would melt, but this melts fast and strong. Um, I got this one on Amazon as well. Wasn't expensive, and it works really, really good. I like this one a lot. Um, I have another one, not in the owl, but I think it's from the same company, but it's it's the same. It's a soapstone. Um, which is really nice. I have that that one in our hallway. And over here, we got the dog's food. We make his food, you guys. And I swear to you, we have to encourage him to eat. This is home. This is chicken and rice and eggs and shredded sweet potato. And you would think that we were feeding him 20 day old gloop. I mean, it's just, it's silly. So anyways, just waiting for him to finish that so I can vacuum. He's so spoiled. Um, here's another tea light. This is one that I actually found at Savers. Um, I was really disappointed in the thrift, thrifting places I've been going. Savers, Goodwill, um, I was really kind of disappointed, but they had this and it was just plain and nothing to it. So we got that. 
Then we have the pressed tin, which is really nice. I think this is a 25 watt, I think. I don't remember. Um, so what I have been doing, you guys, these are a huge lifesaver and saving me from purchasing so much of the the cleanups from Sensi because I have so many warmers I literally can go through I don't know how, I could go through 12 of those a day because what I've been doing lately is in the morning I will burn a scent melt a scent like 9 10 o'clock and then at about three, four o'clock, depending on how my house is smelling, I'll switch over to another scent. That's a lot of wax to be changing. Um, so with these guys, all I have to do is take this out, put in a new one, and put in a new wax. And then when this dries up, I it just it pops out and I can reuse it. It's fantastic. Got those on Amazon as well. Over here, I have the succulent. That one's a nice one. The, um, this is like next to my chair here, and I like to have it here because especially if I'm testing out a scent, I'm literally right here. Um, and I can just, basically, I can kind of tell if I'm gonna like it or not like it. I can tell how strong it's gonna be. Um, it, so it's perfect to have it right there. Plus it adds a little, something to this little table um yes i am having a glass of wine um yeah okay so um i have this one oh i can't remember the name of this warmer um but this is on this is actually an old um from my great grandfather's um farm in Missouri, um, this is actually from his house. Um, it's an old fireplace, warmer, whatever. Um, I love stuff like that. And this is this also came that chest over there also came from um, the same great grandfather, great great grandfather covered wagon, basically from Missouri to California. So. Love stuff like that. Um, anyways, there we go. I don't remember the name of this one. I don't know if this is still available. I'm not sure. Couldn't tell you, um, but that is on there. And then we have in the bathroom, I just have a generic tea light warmer here. This one I also got at um, Savers Mart, the thrift store. And then I have this one. Um, the, I have two in here because I feel like this does not really do well. It, I mean, I get a little bit of scent, but in our guest bathroom here, like I really want people to be comfortable in using the bathroom in here. So I just, there's a lot of scent. Okay, so into our entryway here. Let me turn on the light. Um, so this is the other warmer I was telling you about, the um, like a soapstone warmer. Also gets really hot. FYI, don't pick it up with your hands. Don't handle it after it's been lit for a while. The tea lights I have in here I got on Amazon. Those are eight hour tea lights. They work, I mean, it's awesome. It's awesome for the full day. Not mad at it. Um, this is the Ocean Sands Warmer. I have the blue lights in this one. Hello, sir. I have the blue light warmer in this one. And then we have the, um, the home my fingers sorry we have the home um element warmer sorry plate warmer element warmer um which is nice um like i said i have there's the element warmer light warmer 
tea light warmer. So everything is covered here in this hallway, right? So you're going to get, no matter what's burning, you're going to get a smell. So um, hopefully that, um, once again, some are going to burn better than others, but either way, you're going to get a smell no matter what it is. Kind of have my bases covered with that. Okay, and going into our guest bathroom, um, I have this wall, the wall mount, the heart one as well, but this one is, um, I just made it a plate because having it here, the scent was just stopping. So I just kind of wanted it a little further down and out. Um, so it works really well here for Halloween and Christmas. However, I have no idea what I'm going to put here. Probably more photos. Um, and you'll understand why when I decorate for Halloween. So, okay. I'm going to turn you into the office. Um, a couple more packages I need to open. Yada, yada. Doesn't matter. These are my Disney, so the Cinderella. We have the mini, this one I found on Macari. I was super happy to find that and have it. Um, the castle and then the Dumbo. Got that one on the, um, the warehouse sale that we recently had. So um, happy to have that as well. And you guys, that is, that is it. So I'm going to come over here. Let's walk. Um, I am not wearing any perfume for the day. It's my day off. And, um, I didn't get home till late last night after, after I worked at the winery, I didn't get home till late and, um, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And yeah, so that is my collection of the tea lights and wax homers I have throughout my house. Um, and that's that. I think either today or tomorrow, I might actually do a um, where and how I stash all my wax. It's kind of crazy. Um, I do have a couple more packages that came in. Um, that I want to show you guys some more of those um, super fun Halloween Christmas tea light warmers came in after I filmed that previous video. Um, and then I think I have another package of Teddy Bees. I had There's one in there right now. And I think one's supposed to be delivered today. So I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know what I'm going to do, if I'm just going to open it and stash it or what. Um, and then there's another video that I wanted to do, kind of a discussion video. I've been seeing more lately as we discuss um, the Sensi Club. I feel like that needs, like, I would like to discuss it with people. So um, I will probably film that sometime later on today or tomorrow. I am not sure. So there you go. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for, you know, you guys, I made it in under an hour. What? That and that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.